Good day, YouTube. This is Jay Money with Falling Forward Financial. Um, just came across this article. I thought it sounded kind of interesting. I um, uh, just did a video on um, inflation, um, putting the blame here. <laughs> um, you can put whatever you want in the comments. I don't care. It's true. Uh, but this is about uh, crypto. I've talked about crypto on the channel here a couple times. Um don't get into it a whole lot every once in a while, uh, but just thought this one was kind of interesting. Um, we'll see what uh, goes on with crypto, Bitcoin, all that stuff in the uh, future. But this is uh, Biden set to sign widely awaited order to steady crypto digital dollar. Uh, he's not going to be doing it. He can't even stay awake. So, uh, But on Wednesday, officially uh, sign an executive order directing agencies to steady uh, cryptocurrencies and central bank digital currency and come up with a government-wide approach to regulating uh, digital assets. Uh, so again, just thought this was uh, rather interesting. Long-awaited order lays out a national policy uh, for digital assets across priorities including consumer and investor protection. The move was originally expected uh, last month, a source previously told Yahoo Finance, but the uh, timetable was derailed uh, by the ongoing, uh, I was just going to say, it's been derailed uh, by this. In early uh, Wednesday uh, dealings, uh, Bitcoin and other uh, digital coins were higher, tracking uh, stocks in tenuous trading. So, just have to wait and see uh, what goes on with these. Um, I haven't checked the uh, price of Doge. I still have some Doge. I'm not going to sell it for a loss, so I continue to hold it. Uh, but we need to be uh, clear-eyed that earlier forms of uh, financial innovation have ended up hurting American families while making a small group of people very rich, which underscores the uh, need for robust uh, consumer protection. The order will uh, direct the U.S. Treasury to lead a report on the CBDC, and uh, don't confuse that with CBD, <laughs> drop the C, a consultation with the uh, Departments of uh, Justice, State, Commerce, Homeland Security Office of Management and Budget and Director of National Intelligence to analyze uh, whether digital dollar is sound policy for the United States to pursue. Administration is looking into the pros and cons, so that would be interesting to see what they come up with. The uh, White House supports the uh, Federal Reserve efforts to explore. In January, the uh, Fed issued a white paper exploring the pros and cons of issuing a digital dollar, while the uh, Boston Fed is studying the mechanics of designing one best suited for use in the United States economy should officials pursue one. DOJ is also a test in determining whether a new law is needed to issue a CBDC, something China has already done with its digital one. Fed Chair uh, Jay Powell has said uh, Congress would need to authorize the uh, central bank to issue a similar token. China might have been the first large industrialized nation to launch the CBDC with the uh, digital one, but it will not be the last, uh, far from it, uh, noted Green Nigel Group. So, indeed, the United States now appears to be playing catch-up, um, just as Walmart does to Amazon and uh, everything else, so everybody's always playing catch-up to somebody else. Calling digital currencies are inevitable in the ever more digital world than we live in, so. Someday, uh, it's almost kind of scary, everything could be digitalized, uh, Bitcoin and so on, uh, but we'll just have to wait and see what happens, so. Meanwhile, the Office of uh, Science Technology Policy will do an analysis of the technical aspects and work with the Environmental Protection Agency on analysis of the environmental impact of digital assets. Treasury also tests uh, with leading a report in consultation with the uh, federal banking regulators, regulators uh, along with the FTC, SEC, CFTC, The Financial Stability Oversight Council, uh, created after the 2008 financial crisis to monitor risk to the system, will be asked to study what systematic risk digital asset pose, pose to the financial system with a focus on runs and what can be done to prevent them. 
The working uh, group of financial markets has already tasked the FSOC with uh, looking into systematic risks and stable coins. The uh, government will also work on coordinating uh, crypto regulations internationally to prevent gaps in regulatory supervision. Sounds very interesting, uh, but sounds kind of like a uh, big uh, disaster. <laughs> regulatory uh, supervision, so sounds uh, quite interesting. Senior administration officials say the insufficiency of international implementation of anti-money laundering networks and frameworks is the greatest vulnerability of the crypto ecosystem which criminals are exploiting and will continue to exploit until, who knows, the end of time, I suppose. While there are suspicions that crypto could be used to evade sanctions on Russia, White House insists a crypto is not a viable uh, workaround for those penalties. The administration is continuing to take action started before Russia's invasion. EO also uh, seeks to push innovation and promote United States economic and competitiveness and leadership in the global financial system by directing commerce to work across the government to create a crypto competitiveness framework. Cryptocurrencies have exploded in growth, topping $3 trillion in market cap uh, last November, up $14 billion just uh, five years prior. But recently, volatility a sector has shaved that figure to under $2 trillion. Um, again, that's kind of why I stay away from it. It's just so uh, volatile up and down. Um, surveys suggest that around 16% of American adults, approximately 40 million people, have invested into or traded or used cryptocurrencies. Studies uh, will last 90 to 180 days on average. After the studies are complete, the Treasury will collect the information and then make recommendations on what to do next. While the President's order uh, won't make actual uh, policy yet, it steps uh, towards offering clarity for the crypto industry, which is uh, starving for rules of the road and disrupting the uh, banking industry and global payment system. President's executive orders comes after the uh, Working Group on Financial Markets, uh, composed of uh, major financial regulatory agencies, task Congress with coming up with the uh, new regulatory framework to oversee stablecoins. Stablecoins, a variety of cryptocurrencies, are tied into value in the uh, fiat currency like U.S. dollar or euro to counter volatility. At the same time, the Securities or SEC and Commodities Future Trading Commission are looking to how to regulate crypto and whether the digital tokens should be classified as securities or commodities. Again, another good question. So members of Congress are slowly putting forth or soon expected to put forth legislation and regulate cryptocurrencies, though none yet appears to have a chance uh, being signed into law this year. So uh, I'll just have to wait and see uh, what happens with all this. Um, I just came across this and thought it was kind of interesting. And uh, like I said, I've done a couple crypto videos and just wanted to see uh, kind of what reaction we got from this and uh, put it out there and just kind of an experiment. So, But if you haven't uh, smashed that like button yet, go ahead and hit that for me as well as subscribing and hit the bell so you're notified of when the next videos drop. Again, this is Jay Money, Falling Ford Financial. Happy trading, happy investing, stay green. Cheers.